So boys and girls, over a hundred children get up at 6 a.m. every morning to go to Sullivan and Lottie's house for Bible study. Over a hundred kids! Oh, how I would love to have a hundred kids in my house for Bible study. You know, you can be like Usha. You can have that light that Usha has. And you can be a light in a dark place. If Usha could do it in the darkest place in the world, in India, then you can do it right here, boys and girls. That same spirit that lives in Usha can live in you. And the same light of Jesus that was in Usha, that shines in Usha, can shine in you. Boys and girls, all you need to do is admit you've sinned. You know, sin is anything we say, we think, we do that doesn't please God. We were born with a want to, to do the wrong thing. Boys and girls, God wants us to just bow our heads and admit that we have said the wrong thing, done the wrong thing, thought the wrong thing, and ask for forgiveness. Just say we're sorry and ask for forgiveness. And then believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again for you and for me that he took the punishment of that sin on himself. And boys and girls, then we need to choose to make God the Lord of our life, the boss of our life, so that he can show us the right things to do. Boys and girls, I pray that your light will shine just like Usha's did. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for these boys and girls. I thank you for the light that you have given them. And I pray, Lord, that they would light up their communities, light up their neighborhoods for you. We love you, Lord. We praise you and we thank you for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, light up the world for Jesus. See you next week. Bye-bye.